Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today we're back here for another speed build and today we're going to go ahead and create this waterfront mansion with Dr. Ashley. So she is going to go ahead and decorate the interior of this home and today we're doing part one of the collab and we're going to be doing the exterior of the build. So if you don't know who Dr. Ashley is, she is an amazing Sims 4 speed builder. She does lots of speed builds on her channel and she's one of my best friends in this community as well. So make sure you go ahead and support her by subscribing and checking out part two of this club over on her channel like i said i'll leave a link down below to that so you can go ahead and check that out so um this is built in solani as you can see on a water lot this is actually 40 by 30 and um, this one's in the residential neighborhood of lani Sintas, i think it's called um, and it's the one in the very top corner i don't know what the lot name is um it's in the top left there but it's too small on my screen to read i think it's wreath refinery or something does that say i can't even see it it's too blurry <laughs> um and this is actually the same lot that i built the tropical mansion in last week so if you know where that is that's the same lot as this um and i didn't do a floor plan or anything um Oh no, wait, did I? Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> it's a few days since I did this build, so I can't really remember much about it until it actually happens on the playback screen. But the reason I thought I didn't is because we did actually agree that um, Ashley could, like, you know, change it up if she needs to, or if she has something else in mind, then she can change up the floor plan. Uh, so I'm not actually too sure what she did um, at this point. I've only seen the thumbnail of a video so far and it looks amazing um, so I'm really excited to see what else she does with the home. Um, so in terms of what I did, in, like other than the exterior shell, I actually did the kind of exterior furnishing as well. So this kind of um, deck bit at the back I guess you could call it, I did go ahead and do that as well as a little bit of furnishing at the front and all the landscaping. So you can see here that I was having a glitch with this um, these little glass window things um i don't know what was happening they are supposed to be easily like scalable like up and down but whenever i size them down um, and it's happened in a few builds as well whenever i do that it all goes really glitchy as you saw so i don't know what was up with that but um I just, I managed to get it to work in the end. I just used one of them and just sized it up big. Um, and I always find it really hard to find those new little glass floor things. I don't know where, like what menu they come under. Does anybody know what they are? Because um, every time I go for them, I, I just don't know where they're going to be. So I always have to search under... Um, just like you know filter out island living things or just because i know the name of it now is like crystal clear isn't it so i just type that in but i don't know what menu it's under in so if anybody knows that then that would be helpful to know um i don't know what i was it's probably under the same menu as the glass thing from get together but that's actually a dance roll so i don't know if it will be anyway <laughs> so um we're just working on kind of doing the shell here um nothing too exciting in the minute um we're kind of just putting columns in which i normally cut out but actually since this build only took me about half an hour to do i think it was actually a little bit less than that um i thought i'd go ahead, can't speak i thought i'd go ahead and include everything in the speed build um and also as well it still was very short after it included everything so you may notice you may not notice though but you may see that the actual like speed of this video is much uh, slower than normal um, so I thought I'd go ahead and kind of, you know, just slow it down a little bit. Let me know about what you think of that. Um, I don't actually have, and I've heard this before, like some people ask me, but I don't know how much I speed up my videos because in my editor, which is Sony Vegas Pro 13, um, I, it doesn't tell me like how much I've sped up the video. I can of just drag the clip to the kind of most sped up little go. Um, and that's kind of what I do. Um, but for this one, I kind of just adjusted it slightly. Um, so let me know if it's too slow or do you prefer it like this? Um, I don't know if I'll do it this slow for my regular speed builds because, you know, the take my other speed builds take a little bit longer than this since it's just an exterior, this build. So that's why I decided to try that out. Um, and I have done that a few times, you know, in like shorter builds and stuff where I do kind of make the video a little bit slower. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Also, is it just me, but you see like the upstairs bit, doesn't those two windows make it look like the house has a face on the front and the back? I kind of was noticing that as I built it, I was like, should I take that out? And he's like, you know what, it, it, it's a little quirky thing about the build, I suppose. <laughs> um, so we're just doing a little bit of landscaping here, nothing too exciting really, we're just using the new island living pants pants really <laughs> island living plants there we go i'm very tired this morning <laughs> um and i actually really like how these plants look um i'm glad that we have a nice full set of plants so you know it's not like you have to 
just use a few of these plus the base game plants or something you can kind of have everything you need for all the landscape within this pack there's a good amount of trees lots of plants lots of flowers it all really works well and um, the only thing is it doesn't really fit into the world so maybe it's, you know Solani like we're in or Selva Dorada or maybe Oasis Springs as well and um, but I don't really build in those worlds very often just it doesn't really match the kind of styles of builds that I like to do so I don't think I'm going to end up using the landscape and items that much but um, I still think you know the base game items will have are very good in terms of landscaping there's actually a lot of stuff in there so I always tend to just go for the base game ones like I know we we'll have romantic garden stuff but actually I don't use that pack too often for landscaping because um, I've noticed that the plants there don't always kind of work that well with the style of the base game ones like when you pair them two together you can like you know really tell that there's a difference between like the different plants and um, so I don't end up using romantic garden stuff that much when I look at uh, you know how like when you go in the gallery you can you, like loads up a build or something and it tells you the packs that it's used you can actually click on the pack and it'll tell you the items sometimes I go through that with my own builds to kind of see which ones I haven't really used to see if I can just take them out of the build to make it easier for people to download and sometimes when I go on to the romantic garden stuff one all I really use is that fountain that I put in like you know little pool things and um, so so that's all I really use from that pack on a regular basis um, and for also put a little bit of landscaping into the water as well I don't know how like realistic that is I know like the seaweed and stuff in water but we don't really have that here and um, so I don't really know Um, maybe like the plants here were already like you know planted and then the tides came in or something I don't really know <laughs> Um, I, you know lots of people are doing it and we can actually place you know plants underwater so you know I might as well use that functionality Um, so now we're just working a little bit on the outdoor furnishing so there's actually, you know, quite a good amount of stuff out here. So we've got this kind of barbecue area here with a few countertops and stuff. Um, and I've actually been doing that a lot more recently. Like instead of just having a barbecue, like actually making like a outdoor kitchen area. Um, and using one of those divider things from Dine Out, I think it is, behind the actual cabinets and stuff. Just to, so it's not like, you know, in the uh, fence, if that makes sense. Kind of just separates it up a little bit. I've also got a hot tub there and a few outdoor seating areas. And then I also do like a bigger outdoor seating area over the glass uh, kind of flooring tile there as well. And then we're working on the floor plan a little bit later. I did actually have a bit of trouble with the uh, floor plan. And I also try to keep in mind that I always tend to make rooms very big compared to some other people. Um, so I tried not to do that um, and kind of make them more of a regular size. But it kind of didn't really work out really. Um, but like I said, Ashley can go ahead and change it up as much as she wants to. Uh, to make it work for what she has in mind, which is totally fine. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned as well, but this will be up on the gallery. Um, so you can go ahead and get the unfurnished version from me. My origin ID is RealThomasTV1 and I'll also go ahead and put a link in the description to the online gallery if it's any easier for people to download the build that way. Um, and I don't know if it'll be up straight away as this video goes up because actually my sister's birthday today so I'm kind of out and about and stuff. So I don't know if I'll be able to get it up exactly when this video goes up but if not, um, sometimes what I do is if I like know I'm not going to be able to get it up that day, I, when I put like the download thing in the description, um, I can just make a note where the link is going to go saying it'll be up at whatever time or whatever date. Um, so I might do that. But, you know, sometimes if it's not up straight away, it's sometimes like, you know, like half an hour or so after the video goes up. So if you don't see it straight away, it will be up at some point. Um, and I also go ahead and put a few lounge chairs there as well. I keep thinking that at some point I'm going to end up like, you know, going back to how we're going to do the lounge chairs. Like how we did it before we got Iron Living with so pairing like those two items from Perfect Patio. Uh, you know, like the little armchair thing and the little um, ottoman thing at the end and kind of putting those two items together to make like a fake lounge chair. I feel like I'm going to end up doing that at some point because I'm just so used to it. It's so weird having lounge chairs in game finally after all these years. Uh, but it definitely is going to make building a little bit easier not to have to make those things that aren't really that functional either because you can't really lounge on them. Um, anyway, so we're just doing a few finishing touches now with some ID beforehand on the screenshot So I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below Let me know about what you thought of this build if you have any more suggestions for other builds or anything else that you want to see on the channel Next that'd be really helpful to hear you can go ahead and download this build from the gallery My origin ID is real Thomas TV one and make sure you go ahead and check out Ashley's video on her channel Like I said, I'll leave a link down below to that and I'll see you all next time. Bye